Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm your host, David Rhodes, and we're back at the Guardian Center's Concrete Collapse Structure. We have a huge, massive collapse here, and today we're gonna to talk about locating a victim, making access with a core drill, and taking a look with a search cam. When we have a situation like this, one of the first things we have to do is get good situational awareness, and we wanna look over and see what all the hazards are. Our fire company has already done a surface search. They've removed all the victims off the top, and they've told us they've heard some tapping in this area. So we've isolated it to this particular area. We can still hear the tapping, and we've tapped back to let the person know that we're here and we're getting ready to go to work. I'm here with Jeff Anderson from Georgia's Search and Rescue Team, our state resource here for USAR. Jeff, tell us a little bit about the core drill you're gonna be using today. Today we're gonna to use a Unifier uh, UF50. It's a two inch core drill, it's gasoline powered. Um, some advantages or some disadvantages is using a gasoline powered uh, core drill. It depends on what type of atmosphere you're in. Maybe in a confined area and that's when you would want to use a electric powered um, core drill. All right, so we do have a couple of options when we're core drilling. We can use the Hilti electric type core drill. Today we're using this because it's portable. We don't have any power to get out here. We've got our portable pump can and uh, Let's get the drilling, All right. get our PPE on, and then we'll hit it. The trick with these core drills is getting it started. So a lot of times uh, we use our feet to get a good bite, and then once we get the bite, we can stand it up right into the uh, cut, and then it makes it a little bit easier. But they will slip and slide a little bit if you don't have something to hold them. So here we go. All right, now that we've got our core hole drilled, we're ready to take a look with a search cam. Uh, this particular camera has a lot of features. We can telescope it out uh, manually here. We also have controls here with the trigger where we can go right and left with the camera. We have a light, and the great thing about this one is we have a microphone and a receiver so that we can actually communicate with the victim. We also have a nice screen up so we see what's going on. It's always good to have somebody spotting for you so that you're watching out for any hazards, managing your power cable. So now we're gonna take a look in the hole and see what we can find out. Help me, help, help, help me, please, please help me, I'm scared. All right, we're taking a look with the cam. Help, we see our help, victim right I'm there. Stuck. She's waving please to help us, me. talking, so we're gonna make some communication with her. Hey, we're coming to get you, okay? Okay, hurry. All right, good. It's gonna take us a few minutes to get through, so what I need you to do is back up away as far as you can. All right, so we had to access this patient to see exactly what was going on down below. We used a core drill and a search cam to do so. Our fire companies had located this patient by hearing tapping uh, on the concrete, and so they guided us right to it. This is the quickest way for us to get uh, some communication established, reassure this patient, 
If we had any other type of opening, we could send some supplies down. If the person's been there for a long time, we might want to consider uh, putting a hose down and getting them some drinking water uh, so they could hydrate themselves, get back out of the way, some PPE, safety glasses, some earplugs, because it's going to be real noisy as we go into the next phase of making access to this hole. Thanks for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. Thank you, Jeff, for being here with us. Thank you for having me. And thank you to TechGen, our sponsor.